The United States is sinking and falling apart at the bottom. I swear this isn't a political statement, it's a geological one. In the past weeks, we have not seen one but three different studies that looked at this. I have a brief summary. The first study is quite dramatic. The authors collected a lot of data from seismographs across the United States. From this, they calculated how seismic waves travel through the continental plate and what features this plate has at the bottom. They found that the continental plate, the so-called lithosphere, is crumbling at the bottom and sinking down into the deeper mantle, which is the next layer beneath. It's sinking down down in massive drip-like structures that stretch from around 200 kilometers deep, where the lithosphere ends, all the way down to the mantle transition zone at 660 kilometers. And these are just small patches. One of the largest regions where this is happening is beneath Kansas, Oklahoma, Missouri, and parts of Texas and Arkansas. Now, this is geology, so when I say they're dripping down, this just refers to the shapes. It's not like watching honey slide off a spoon. These movements happen over tens of millions of Yes. But the important part is that it's still happening right now. The very foundation of North America is thinning, with chunks of it detaching and sinking down. What's going to happen with this in the future? The researchers suggest that this process could continue to weaken the continental plate. If it speeds up, it might in the long run even cause surface level deformations. This finding is consistent with earlier studies that had already shown hints of big slabs of rock sinking down beneath North America although those studies used lower resolution imaging techniques. This new research provides a much sharper view, revealing the drip-like structures in detail for the first time. The second study focuses on the Pacific Northwest, Seattle, Northern California, and stretching up to Canada. This region is on top of what's called the Cascadia Subduction Zone. This is where a small tectonic plate off the west coast, called the Juan de Fuca Plate, slowly pushes under the North American plate. This type of subduction is similar to what caused the 2011 earthquake in Japan, which led to the Fukushima disaster. This is not the San Andreas Fault, which is further south and a place where two plates slide past each other. In the Cascadia zone, one plates are sliding underneath the other, building up enormous pressure, and it's due for a major earthquake. Geological records show that massive quakes of magnitude 8 or 9 happen about every 300 to 600 years in that region, and the last big one happened around 1700. The authors of the new study now use new data and computer models to simulate what would happen if that earthquake were to eventually come to pass, and they found that it would likely sink the coastline by up to 2 meters in just a matter of minutes. This would very suddenly double the area that's prone to flooding along the west coast. Add sea level rise from climate change and, the researchers estimate, by 2100 up to 370 square kilometers could vanish and be permanently underwater. In the third study, things get even more interesting. This one looked at very precise satellite measurements of altitude in 28 of the largest US cities, including Houston, Dallas, New York, and Chicago. They found that at least 20% of the urban areas in all of these cities are sinking, mostly due to groundwater extraction. Basically, the Americans are pumping water out of the ground faster than it can be replaced, and the land's collapsing. In some parts of Houston, the researchers say, the ground is sinking by more than 5 millimeters a year. That might not sound like much, but over a few decades, it's enough to crack roads and damage buildings. All this sounds slightly worrisome, to be honest, but then again, as a European, I'd say, well, at least things are moving in North America. I'm not the trusting kind. I don't like it if companies keep track of my whereabouts and God knows what else. 
That's why I use NordVPN. NordVPN is an app that makes your internet connection ultra secure. You install it on your phone or laptop and use it to create a safe connection. With NordVPN, no one can spy on your data or track your whereabouts. It comes with a threat protection that keeps you safe from malware, trackers and malicious ads. And now it also has a post quantum encryption. All you have to do is turn it on. You know how some content is blocked for users in certain locations. For example, if you're in Europe, a lot of pages in the United States have become inaccessible in recent years because they don't comply with European privacy regulations. That can get really annoying. But well, NordVPN has more than 5,000 servers all over the world. Just pick a server in the United States. Problem solved. NordVPN is a high quality product that works as advertised, and I'm happy to recommend it. If you want Want to try it out yourself? Use our link nordvpn.com slash Sabine or the coupon code for our special offer. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.